How much weight should you expect to lose if you are on or considering weight medication? Well, stick around because we're gonna talk all about it. Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this channel is a trusted source for evidence-based answers to your weight questions. So welcome. Today, we're gonna talk about what you should expect from in terms of weight loss from medications that you're on or medications that you're thinking about. So let's get started. First up is Phentermine. I'm gonna start with the older medications, the oral medications, the less like fuzzier medications, and then we'll work our way up. So Phentermine is an older medication. It's been around for literally decades. And people can expect to lose around 5% total body weight using that. Then there's also the combination Phentermine Topiramate. It's a combined medication. It's also known as Qsimia. And on that medication, on average, total body weight loss is about 5 to 10%. Now that is also very similar to Contrave, which is another combination medication, which is Bupropion and Naltrexone. That is an oral medication, has also been around for quite some time, and people can expect to lose about 5 to 10% total body weight. Now, let's jump over to the injectable medications. These are the newer medications, and we'll start with the first one to be approved, which was liraglutide, which is also called Saxenda. So for liraglutide, which was FDA approved for weight loss, but also for uh, type two diabetes, patients can expect to lose essentially about the same, five to 10%, in clinic, I've seen closer to the 10%, but that's really the range for patients in terms of what they should expect. But things really changed in the last few years when semaglutide, aka Ozempic or Wagovi was approved because the results for that were a bit higher with average patient weight loss being around 10 to 15 percent total body weight loss so that's a really big change from the five percent that we have with fentermines we've come quite a long way and then the latest which has not as of august 2023 um, mid-august has not been approved yet for weight loss but is approved for diabetes and is expected to be approved for weight loss literally any minute now um, is terzepatide, aka Munjaro. And with that medication, average weight loss, patients can expect to lose around 20% total body weight. That's incredible. That is, we've never seen anything like that. That is in one medication, that's amazing. So as you can tell, uh, I'm very excited for this to be approved for patients. Patients are very excited because the results have been amazing and I've done a bunch of videos on this medication already, so go back and watch them if you want all the details, but it really is, like the results are really promising. And for bariatric surgery, average weight loss starts at around 20%, so really we're getting extremely close to what we used to only be able to achieve surgically through injectable medication, so that is extremely exciting. Now, of course, there is a bell curve and your mileage may vary. So do I have patients that they went on the baby dose of Wagovi and they stayed there because they lost an incredible amount of weight on that? Yes, I do. Not a lot, but I do have a couple. I also have a couple patients that are on the maximum dose of Wagovi or the maximum dose of Ozempic, and they're only losing a couple of pounds. So those definitely, those two sides are not typical, but results, it really is a bell curve with most of the people winding up in the middle, but we do have some outliers on either side. And as always, these medications are best used when combined with lifestyle changes because as I like to tell my patients, these medications, you're gonna get so much more out of them if you are eating how you wanna eat and you're exercising how you wanna exercise and you've made all these other changes. These medications do a lot, but they don't stop us from ordering takeout when we should probably be making our food from at home, or they don't help us put on our running shoes in the morning instead of sleeping in. Like they do a lot, 
but they can't do everything. So it's really important to use these in combination with other healthy lifestyle changes. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my references will be listed down below and please be well.